This is the Milo Beasley Show. This is the Milo Beasley Show. There's only one thing you need to know. This is the Milo Beasley Show. And now, here's your host, Milo Beasley. And welcome to the Milo Beasley Show, doot, 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 episode number 356. Uh, I'm so excited for this week. Uh, I, I think you will too, especially if you are a fan of Halloween, if you're a fan of theme parks, if you're a fan of Halloween at theme parks, then this is the episode for you. So please help me welcome at this time, Emery Alvarado. How are you doing? Hey, Milo. I'm so, 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 so good. Um, I just, we're coming out of Hurricane Ian, of course. So we're kind of a little shaken, but everything is, uh, is a-okay. We're ready to get back onto the haunts. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, Yeah. Did you, uh, did you lose any power? Uh, did you, any, any damage? Oh gosh. Yeah. Well, the damage was thankfully, um, you know, nil, but, um, yeah, it's just, it was, uh, mostly my car that got flooded. <laughs> oh no. We, yeah. We also did lose power for like, you know, a couple of days. Um, and things are pretty bad. It was like pretty flooded around this area, but, um, thankfully we fared <laughs> comparatively well in, in comparison to other places in, in Florida. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. I still have some friends who st- still no power. Like they, some like mm-hmm. lost their, uh, lost their jobs, uh, lost their homes. Oh, so, uh, feeling, I'm feeling extremely blessed uh to be where i am and in the in the position that i am so yeah you uh, and i both hopefully, can, <laughs> hopefully everyone can try to get back to a normalcy uh now i know what that means uh you know a, a lot for people uh you know that's the normalcy is a is a is a weird word uh we've had to say it a lot over the past couple of years um so true <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah so let's i want to talk about uh again halloween horror nights and of course little boo who uh <laughs> was your creation um uh you know and yeah <laughs> I think it was it was last year that uh the the essence of little boo um uh, came to be uh but how did how did that even uh like start off so you weren't you weren't working for universal at the time right you were just you were was it a you were freelance is that what was the case uh, so I, I correct. I was not working for Universal Orlando at the time. I was working for a scenic shop, and we have uh, multiple scenic shops across, uh, well, really the world, but <laughs> there are some across Central Florida that um, you know serve like the Universal, Sea World, Disney, and uh, you know different kinds of like themed attractions in the area as well. And so they are kind of like the clients and then they employ people underneath them. And I was one of those (laughs) smaller people. Um, And yeah, we were just tasked to uh, sculpt lots of pumpkins, very, very many pumpkins. (laughs) So I guess like amidst all the the chaos and hubbub of that, I, you know, was a little bit anxious and (laughs) from that anxiety, little Boo's face was born. (laughs) How many, so how many other pumpkins do you think that you did? Uh, less than other other people that's for sure that's why (laughs) yeah um I was just taking you know my time and uh I I can be fast when it comes to certain things but when it comes to other things I am not so fast as an artist so (laughs) right yeah I mean it's it's all right it depends on uh what you need to get done and then again how much you want to put into it and how much you uh you know right feel feel that creative spirits going through you now um uh, exactly did you so what year was that oh this was back in 2017 2017 mm-hmm. uh so yeah. then was 2017 the first appearance of little boo yeah it was for halloween horror nights 27 and that was the year that they had the trick-or-treat uh scare zone and that was truly just such a great scare zone to walk through because we watched the movie while while we were sculpting those pumpkins it was a a fun time um and then, you know, while we were there, it was just like getting to see that being my first year in the scenic realm, by the way, like oh, getting to see awesome. those, yeah, getting to see those creations get hung up and placed into the park is an experience like no other, honestly. It was great. That's fantastic. Uh, side note, um, I was in Vancouver a couple of years back and I got to visit the locations, the houses for that they filmed uh trick or treat. Oh, 
my gosh. And they look exactly, except for like one, but they look, <laughs> I mean, they look exactly as they did. And they're all like, there's two houses that are next to each other. And then uh -huh. across the street are two more houses that are next to each other. So it's wow. all right there. So if you ever get a chance and you <laughs> ever find yourself in Vancouver, you have to go and visit the trick or treat houses. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That sounds amazing. I have, I'll have to add that to my list of places that I'm going to visit in Canada when I eventually am able to go. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, and I don't, I don't even know if we're allowed in Canada right now. I, I don't even. Uh, <laughs> so uh, did you, when you created all those pumpkins and you, you know, were you, uh, did you go in, in, I don't want to say visit, but did you, you know, did you go through uh, Halloween Horror Nights and, and take a, and take it and be like, man, I created that. Yeah. That's probably one of the things that like a lot of scenics like to do is, uh, to experience the place, you know, that we've been working in or working for, um, in full show lighting with all the sound effects and everything going on that's like you know when it's like fully lit and, right. and ready and in production it's one of the most like humbling experiences for an artist to really just see like you know your creation amidst um so many other people's creations and all of it kind of like coming together so quickly and it's amazing what, <laughs> uh, you know, theme parks do this all the time whenever they create new attractions, but whenever they make uh, seasonal events, it's almost more impressive because this is like a true quick production. It's, it's very um, theater centric in that sense, you know, um, there's a little bit of permanence into the, into the, the craft and stuff behind it, but it really has to get put together so quickly. So, <laughs> you know, absolutely. Were you uh were you a HHN fan uh, prior to uh, to this? Oh yes, absolutely, definitely a HHN fan. But I didn't start until um, HHN twenty, so the the two X's. Whenever um, I think it was Fear that was on the streets, um, that was just such a an iconic year. And I guess that was like you know, my first year, so it's been wow, it's been I guess you know twelve years since then, but eleven events since then. Right. Uh, gosh, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, it's, uh, and obviously you've been, you've been, uh, this year, uh, mm -hmm. now when, now, so how many other, uh, horror nights events, uh, you know, or universal events have you also, uh, done stuff for? Oh, um, I've done some other stuff for horror nights and, and, uh, other years. And then last year I also, um, had the privilege of helping out with Howl of Scream, and that was really, really fun as well. Um, I oh, you know, did some World? stuff. Yeah, yeah, in SeaWorld. <laughs> oh, that's that's fantastic. I uh, yeah, I heard uh, good things uh, good things about it. You know, uh, being yes. there at, at SeaWorld for the first time after being at, at uh, Bush Gardens for so long. Right, right, and I mean, growing up in Orlando, I like always heard about Bush Gardens, uh, Howl of Scream, and unfortunately, I never got to go. <laughs> So uh, getting the privilege to like, you know, be able to work in and visit Hollow Scream in the same year was like really, really fun. That, that's fantastic. Uh, now, going back to, to last year and uh, HHN 30 or XXX or however they want to uh, <laughs> phrase it, it's, it's gone both ways. It's like they were afraid to call it HHN 30 because of the <laughs> weird circumstances or uh, when you... Yeah. When were you aware that Lil Boo became a thing? <laughs> like an entity outside of this game. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is my, my little shout out moment. Um, so Connor, uh, he's at the Connor web on Twitter. Uh, he was at the event and he posted a picture with himself and like inviting other people to like tag their favorite pumpkins and, I was very blessed that he chose mine and <laughs> it was just like such a cool moment to like see my pumpkin like in a tweet but I think the way that I found out was via um Sonderquest I think uh that's his at on Twitter by the way as well um he had uh posted I think his illustration of Lil Boo and from that illustration I was led to see like everything that was going on behind it I was like what well, this is my pumpkin people are drying it what is happening right now so then I saw Connor's tweet and um it was all just like a whirlwind uh <laughs> it was uh 
kind of surreal, but really also just rewarding to kind of see one thing that I created really just like take off and resonate with like so many people so quickly. Right. I, I remember I was uh, going through the house uh, on towards the beginning of, of the event and a friend of mine, uh, Matthew, uh, he's on Twitter. Uh, give a shout out to him as well as Speculation Matt. And, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and uh, he was like, hey, so this pumpkin, this is little boo. Like, this is a this is a big thing on Twitter. <laughs> and I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, no, like, seriously, like, this this little, this pumpkin is a big thing. And I was like, you, please stop it. And then next thing I know, like I'm on Twitter, and, <laughs> like it's blowing up so much so that they go and they move little boo because like they're afraid that <laughs> he's going to get stolen or damaged. Yeah, uh, exactly. They progressively move him farther away from humans. So we don't. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I mean, the, the, the pride that that must have taken that, Hey, this is your work. Uh, like that must have been. A, a great feeling. Yeah, it was really rewarding. Um, it's the industry can be a little bit thankless because you don't really receive credit once your um, work goes out into the park. Usually, it's not like you know, um, in some theater spaces where there's like a playbill or there's not you know like credits running after a movie. It's just kind of like, oh, I worked on this, and I can say that I worked on it, but it exists, and like I am detached from it in that way you know right. um but with something like this where i was like able to stake my claim and be like hey that was actually my brain that came up with that there was no stencil for that face <laughs> uh that was provided out that was me just being creative and that little face of like <laughs> worried anxiety uh <laughs> just blew up with everyone yeah uh and so did did Universal reach out to you at all and be like, hey, like this is a this is a thing? Or once you uh I guess sign the contract, you take you cash the check, it's 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 all of them and and there's nothing on the other side. Um so I guess we're entering realm that I can't really talk too much about, unfortunately. <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, uh essentially but... so are you able to um so obviously Lil Boo's on a lot of on most of the merch this year yes uh did they talk to you about getting about doing uh artwork for that since uh or it was that somebody else's artwork that they uh mm -hmm. they then used right so those are those are um uh illustrations by uh team members that work at universal orlando in their merchandise okay. department and um you know, I did reach out hoping that, you know, there, there could be some chance for collaboration, but that never really happened. Um, and so they came out with their merchandise this year and I, you know, was like really happy to see it come out. Um, they're, you know, they're. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out how to say things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I, I, uh, did uh, did you did you did you have to pay for it uh, yourself? Did any did uh, were you gifted any? Oh oh no 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 I yeah I haven't uh, been given any uh, benefits for being the creator of Lil Boo. Um, I entered a mutually beneficial agreement with Universal, which is why I'm able to sell my own Universal or oh, my yeah. own Lil Boo merchandise, not you know affiliated with Universal. It's just right. my own character, and that's why like you know, I put the apostrophe um, before the second L as opposed to universal spelling with the apostrophe after the second L. Right. And um, it's just kind of like, you know, there's two <laughs> little boo universes, I guess. <laughs> right. Now, have you, have you purchased uh, any of the little boo merch that universal sells? Um, I purchased the earrings. I thought they were really cute. Um, I'm still, I guess, hoping <laughs> crossing my fingers that maybe <laughs> someone would want to send me the the merchandise but um yeah it's, it's it looks really good though you know uh, absolutely and uh there's a uh, even a part uh there's a little boo section in the um the halloween boutique over at uh, <laughs> islands of adventure um as well yeah. now um 
I, I I'm, I'm sure it gives you mixed feelings when, when seeing little boo, but when you, uh, when you, when you see people expressing their love, wearing the merch, what is, what is the feeling inside? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. It does feel better whenever people wear my merch. Um, it's just kind of like <laughs> a little bit more of affirmation, but that's, right. you know, it's, different styles of merchandise as well. Like I didn't, they went for a more like classic Halloween um, merch style and I, you know, have kind of taken my own twist and done stuff. Um, but still knowing that people like resonate with his face and, you know, buy either their merch or my merch or what have you, it's right. still really, really cool. Um, there's also like lots of merch that's available like from individual creators. And um, I really love seeing people interpret little boo in their own artwork that i think is the most rewarding part of the whole thing is like my artwork inspiring other people's as an artist that is the best thing that you can ask for and that's like <laughs> i you know i won a lot um by seeing that now speaking of your merch uh you just had uh your your plushes uh past your your goal <laughs> correct yes they really did and i didn't <laughs> You can ask any of the people that I was frantically texting um, before I even started the Kickstarter. I was like, do you think this is possible? And then they were like, yes. <laughs> so um, yeah, it, that was also extremely, extremely rewarding and um, affirming. And I have, uh, yeah, probably the most humbling part of this was that. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, it's it's good to see people out there starting to understand that, uh, that there are people, that there are actual artists, uh, behind this and, and hopefully that they, uh, continue to support now is, so is, yeah. is Halloween your, your favorite time of year? <laughs> it definitely is. Um, I'm not going to lie, even in Christmas, I'm like, well, it's, it's kind of like, you know, my own Christmas. I don't really like to it's nice to visit other people's houses during Christmas, but my own house is very spooky Christmas usually. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the the universal merch that says like every day is Halloween really resonates right. with me because it's like, yeah, it definitely is for me at least. <laughs> so what are your, uh, what are your, we'll do top top five favorite Halloween movies. Or <gasps> oh movies. my gosh. Whew. Well, <laughs> uh, this, is going to throw me for a loop. Are, are we talking like horror? Cause this yeah, is... just a uh, horror, I guess, you know, yeah. Horror movies that you would watch. Cause I mean, obviously not every movie is Halloween theme, mm. but movies that you would watch at this time of year. Yes. Okay. Well, oh God, I am a sucker for always watching um, uh, hereditary. Um, and I, I'm going to lump in midsummer with it because those films are kind of like, my favorites i also love um suspiria um both versions are amazing but the newest one was like astounding oh god okay this is this is so intense <laughs> uh definitely nightmare before christmas that is like classic halloween vibes like i have hot cocoa in my hand and I'm i literally wearing, watched um, it today amazing <laughs> <laughs> and that's on taste we love that <laughs> So, um, yeah, that's, that's a big fave for sure. Um, there's definitely more. Oh, I, I just, um, rewatched Nope for like the eighth time or something. I, I love, oh God, it's so good. It's, <laughs> I love monster movies and I love, um, like sci-fi movies as well that like when they meld with horror, it's like my favorite. So Nope is like right up my alley. <laughs> Um, let's see. I don't know. My fifth one would have to be. Hmm. I think Insidious is one of my Ooh, favorite horror okay. movies of all time. I, I don't know. It just something about the way that, um, oh gosh, what's the director's name? Um, I forget. James Wan, or he, I think it was a producer or something, but it was just phenomenally filmed. Just, I rewatch it at least once a year. <laughs> and uh, you're along with being a, a Halloween junkie. You're also a theme park junkie as, as well, right? Ooh, is this, is this, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, and we somehow just missed each other at Epcot's 40th this past week. I'm so sorry. I, we, I was running around, you know, from place to place with my friends. So I'm sorry that I, we weren't able to see each other. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so what theme park, uh, I guess what Orlando theme park would be your, your favorite? <gasps> Islands of Adventure immediately. I'm so Island. sorry. Yeah. That is my park. That's my baby. That is my child. I grew up with islands. I am an Islands of Adventure gal through and through. <laughs> so were you were you around when they did HHN at Islands? <laughs> I was alive, but I well, was, uh... <laughs> I was how old was I? That was what oh, year gosh, was that? Please don't do this. Don't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what year it was either, but it was in the early thousands. No, and... it was uh, 2002. Okay, Islands perfect. of Fear was 2002. Right. I'm going to say yes. <laughs> okay, we'll just, we'll just leave it at that. We'll oh, leave it at that. Oh my God, that was so, 20 years ago. Yeah, that oh. was 20 years ago. Oh my God. Yeah, so but for that year, um, I was a child. So I was not able to go, <laughs> but wow. I always saw like the advertisements and I was like, damn, I really want to go. Islands of Fear like... was so good. Uh, I've just, I think everyone's been begging for them to bring oh. uh, Horror Nights back to, to Islands. And gosh, man, I would, I was really hoping for 30, they were going to, mm -hmm. um, but I, I think it's so in, embedded in the universal brand now. And uh, they don't have to do anything like they don't have to. <laughs> It doesn't have to be gimmicky. They don't have to, you know, have it at right. islands, unfortunately. Um, I mean, I I would be happy if they had like, um, like a more whimsical Halloween that took place in islands that was more for like you know the the full family because then that they could they could like tap into like you know Disney's market with not so scary, right? Um, and then keep like all like the 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 intense and gore <laughs> uh, and horror all over in in you know, USF and keep it there. I can see that. Yeah. That would be a lot of fun, especially, uh, you know, with Seuss land and, and things like that. I could, uh, definitely yeah. see them in comic book land. All comic book land was insane. Uh, for, <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, it was, uh, it was insane. Uh, so, uh, before we move on, we're going to jump into a thing called the Milo Beasley show frequently asked questions. And Ooh. these are going to be the same five questions that I ask to every guest here on the Milo Beasley show. So are you ready? Awesome. I'm ready. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. All right. Question number one, what was the first concert you attended? <sighs> oh my gosh. Uh, it's not the first that I ever attended, but it's the first that I spiritually attended. And that was Lady Gaga's, or no, no, sorry. That was Marina and the Diamonds. Uh, <laughs> that was in 20. 11 i want to say I, yes i think so <laughs> awesome that's a good one it's weird but it's yeah <laughs> that's, i mean you know it's it's good uh yeah. question number two do you believe in ghosts <gasps> of course i believe in all little booze <laughs> <laughs> now have you ever had anything weird happen to you or like like uh that was that was a ghost yeah, I mean, I've definitely had plenty of paranormal experiences in and around oh, Florida. Man. I don't mm -hmm. know if I ever have, so <laughs> maybe, maybe uh, if I hang out with you, maybe I'll I'll get to have that that paranormal experience. Yeah, I'm a little bit more sensitive to them. They kind of flock to me sometimes. I'm like, oh, hi, you're here. <laughs> so, like, I have the I always have dreams about ghosts, and they're mm. like crazy, like intense, like crazy intense dreams but oh, never gosh. anything that, like when i'm awake <laughs> i definitely have sleep paralysis and i have like uh lots of ghosts and monsters that visit me and that's kind of what inspires like my more morbid designs that i don't really share with people <laughs> <laughs> all right uh so uh in a no, question number three is a little twist on a common question in a mm -hmm. movie about your life who would play your parents? <laughs> oh my gosh, my parents. Hmm. I want to say <laughs> the parents from the first Spy Kids, but I don't remember. Is it Antonio Banderas or he's, is he from like the other Spy Kids films? I don't remember, but them. 
<laughs> so the, the the parents of uh of the spy kids yeah uh yes yeah the cortezes yes um yes antonio banderas awesome and what was the oh my gosh what was the, the wife's name the mom. uh alexa uh pina vega maybe oh maybe oh, i don't know that's I don't the remember. kid uh, oh, oh, it's uh, Carla uh, uh, Gugina. Uh, I don't, I don't know. How, uh, <gasps> uh, Gugina? I don't know. Yeah. Gugina, I think, maybe? I don't yeah. Know. I don't want to butcher the name and then never have <laughs> like a guest. But I love her. She is a gorgeous actress. And I would love, you know, to have her as my mom for, like, a film. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> uh, question number four. Who is your favorite person to follow on social media? <gasps> oh, my gosh. The pressure is on. I know. People are <laughs> why didn't you say me? <laughs> well, now I can't choose a person or else I'm going to make everybody else jealous. <laughs> I have to choose like an entity. Hmm. My favorite person to follow on social media. I'm still thinking. <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> um. Well, you know what? I'm going to plug my friend, honestly, because he deserves to get plugged immediately. Um, he's going to be at Spooky Empire. So please visit his booth. Uh, my friend Cody, um, he is the the creative mind behind his like uh, realm called Radley Relics of like, you know, cool crafted miniatures and things. It's so Fantastic. great. I love his brand. <laughs> Fantastic. Are you going to be a spooky? I will be, yeah, definitely going to Spooky. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will I will be on the lookout for you. I will be there as well. I'll be hosting some of the celebrity uh, Q&A panels. So um, awesome. I will definitely, I will be, I will be out and about uh, all three days there at Spooky Empire. Uh, so oh <clears throat> Orlando fans, uh, it's, it's definitely the place to be um, for all things Spooky. Awesome. Uh, and yes. then uh, question number five, uh, what has been um, your biggest fanboy moment where you saw somebody and uh, you either couldn't speak or quite the opposite, you had motor mouth and you couldn't stop speaking uh, and, you were, and you made a fool out of yourself. Uh, do, you, do you have any of those, uh, those moments? Oh my gosh. Um, I, I think... I saw Joe Rohde walking around Animal Kingdom at one point in the past 10 years. And I, oh, wait, no, he was, okay. Huh. I, I know the exact moment that this happened. Um, <laughs> I was working on this little expansion to Drink Walla. And we were like sculpting super, super long days that we were out there um, for this, this little new little hut that they constructed down downstairs. Um, and I saw him and he was like doing some art direction stuff and I was just guffawed. And he was like, oh, you guys are doing the sculpting, right? And I was like, uh, yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's the only interaction that I've had with Joe Rody, but it was magical and amazing. And Maybe Joe Rody will be hanging out at Spooky Empire next week. Right, next week? Oh. Two weeks. Well, I know it's like a few weeks from now, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Joe Rody could, could be a big Spooky fan. I would cry. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. That would be a great uh, tactic yeah. to talk to him. <laughs> now you have plugged other people. Uh, let's plug yourself. Uh, where if Aww. folks want to, uh, you know, uh, follow you on, on Twitter, Instagram, uh, go to your website so they can uh, purchase some, some little boo merch of them for themselves from straight from you. Uh, where can they, where can they go? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so my website is my name, emeryalvarado.com. And you can find me on social media at emery underscore arts, pretty much anywhere. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's pretty much just like universal throughout um, most social media platforms. Um, I, I tried to do that. But uh, unfortunately, the Emory um, University took emeryarts.com from me. So I... <laughs> I had to oh. use my name. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Isn't so that what, funny? what else, uh, as we talk about, you know, your website and, and your work, what else uh, can they, can, can people expect to find on, on the website and in your shop? Oh my gosh. Well, I think 
people can look through my portfolio. That's always fun. They can see the things that I've done in the past. Um, there's like lots of murals and like illustrations and stuff that I haven't really posted on social media. Um, and they can also go through my shop and kind of like embark <laughs> on learning what is the holiday shop village. And that's kind of like the backstory, the lore that I kind of like have set for my shops um, because I want to expand upon this and kind of create a little bit of like a world. It's um, a floating island directly above the Cayman Islands. Um, it's called uh, Holiday Village, basically. And uh, people, you know, magical people essentially come in and visit this island. Um, and there's like cultural and like holiday representatives there. And two of them, um, Avia Noctua and Doth Noctua, are the representatives behind my two little shops that I have open this year. Um, Hallow Whimsy is kind of like the more like whimsical cutesy style for Halloween and Phantasma Gothica is more of like the goth uh, super like edgy and dark and punk side of things so kind of like representing the duality of me as well. <laughs> that's that's awesome I I, I truly uh, hope uh, folks uh, definitely go and, and, and check it out and uh and as as the lore grow the the lore grows uh as your your art grows as uh the the career grows uh hope i'm glad to uh glad to know be able to say hey i i i, I knew emory and uh, had her on the show when you know before you blew up so uh glad <laughs> glad that, that that you're here and, and and chatting with me today no no the pleasure truly is all mine milo thank you so much this has been so fun <laughs> Uh, anything else to uh, to say before uh, before we wrap up? Um, I just want people to stay hydrated and take care and uh, take care of their communities as well and uh, love their neighbor. I don't know. <laughs> Random stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, thank you all for watching uh, and listening. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. But most importantly, tell your friends. And if you're out and about at uh, HHN uh, and you see Emery, say hello, look up to the sky, say hello to little Boo. And if you're at Spooky, <laughs> please come by and say hi and hang out. Uh, we'll uh, both be there uh, doing uh, respective other things, uh, yeah. but, uh, but, the, but the aura will all be there together. Uh, thank you all for, for hanging out with me. Uh, Emery, thank you, hang out, uh, thank you for hanging out with me. And uh, we will see you all next week. Bye. Thank you.